I hope we are having a good week. Um, sorry we are out of area season, but you know, here we are. It's May 2nd. <laughs> this is your weekly reading from May 2nd to May 9th. I hope everyone is having a good week. Again, if this was nice with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. It would be super, super helpful. If it doesn't, check your moon and rising because you could totally be in that energy as well. Um, these are general readings, so if I'm not in your energy this week, I'm sorry. I'll try to connect to it next week. Um, but I just want to say thank you for all that are here and that continue to watch. Um, I really appreciate it. Interesting. We have an interesting start here. Okay. There's this partnership here. It's interesting. We have the Hierophant. Uh, we have the Two Cups to start ourselves because this is all talking about partnership, talking about relationship. We have two cards that kind of popped up here, the Hierophant and the Moon. Now, if we're talking about astrological signs, the Hierophant is Taurus and the Moon is a Pisces. So it's interesting. So you might be kind of dealing with a relationship with one of these two signs right now. Um, if it's kind of not the case of these signs, the Hierophant is someone um, of a mentor energy. Um, so maybe for some of you, um, this is someone that you maybe look up to. Um, it could be someone kind of more of a, a higher value, um, or it could be just some energy here that is, um, this partnership could be divinely guided. Um, kind of can get that energy from the Hierophant as well. This kind of like mentor energy. So it's interesting areas. Um, maybe you feel like you were mentored towards this person or divinely guided towards this person. I'm just kind of getting this overhead kind of Maybe kind of on a spiritual realm. But what is this moon card? Because the moon represents fear and delusion. So let's just see. I mean, the higher function also mean marriage as well. Kind of just a higher commitment card. Interesting. Could have been manifesting this person, Aries. Seems like you might have been manifesting this person around. You admire them, if it feels like. It's just this energy of um, admiring them. And I feel like it's this energy, Aries, of you admiring them so much that it, it scares you. Like, you kind of have a lot of fear around it because you see them on a different, um, almost pedestal as you. Um, but this is not like a relationship. It seems like you were kind of manifesting here. Queen of Pentacles. You might have been focusing on your career for a little while, focusing on the work, um, your work, kind of um, your stability, growing um, your financial, growing financial wise um, with the Queen of Pentacles here. Because it just kind of feels that almost this relationship is kind of out of nowhere. It kind of feels like it just kind of pops up for you in the sense of being like, oh, and you're going to be like, oh, like this is actually where I was manifesting. This is kind of the partner that I was um, looking for. Again, could be a Taurus. Um, again, could be any Virgo, um, Taurus, um, Capricorn, Pisces. Sorry, I obviously live downtown, so um, that's enough of them. Um, yeah, and it seems like this person is going to be, like, really giving. It's this energy of, like, they really want to take care and, like, giving towards you. They could be someone with maybe a little bit more money, actually, as well. Um, someone that can kind of take care of you. But I feel this very, um, nurturing energy from them. I feel this very much like this, um, someone to here to take care of you a little bit. Um, which is really nice, Aries. Make sure that you are keeping an eye out for it. Make sure you are um, not so stuck on um, maybe another person or um, so stuck on, let's say, um, how things are going to... Like, uh, keep an open mind here with the four of um, cups here. Because again, I think the universe is trying to kind of bring this partnership forward. This uh, universe is trying to bring this to you, but you're too focused on other stuff right now. Again, you might be focused on your finances or something like that. Um, but here I, I see like the universe is trying to bring you a manifestation that you've kind of wanted and you've hoped for for a while here. And uh, maybe the Aries um, kind of being a Venus here is kind of helping you as well. But it just seems, yeah, it just kind of seems like you might be... Uh, Trust, trust that it's for you and trust that this is something that you've maybe manifested there as well. It's a great read so far. 
yeah, it seems that the Page of Wands is kind of just going for it. That's like the energy I get with the Page of Wands and um, the enthusiasm to just go for it, to um, go after some things in life. And uh, maybe again, this is taking you by surprise and you're kind of feeling like, oh, like, I don't know, but have the enthusiasm to go forward with it. Like, why not? Like, why not, you know, test the road and maybe this is not the person um, you're going to forever be with, but just having that enthusiasm for life and, and enjoying it. Um, enthusiasm to kind of be in a relationship again because it just kind of seems like there's this clear choice moving forward um with this with this person here um it looks like you are kind of finally ready to kind of jump in and go after it um feel that passion and and push forward with it because i think you are truly feeling um like this is something you've kind of deserved and kind of manifested for yourself aries i love that for aries You got the strength card. We're dealing with a Leo as well. What is the strength card? What is the strength card? Cards just don't fly today. Have the um, strength to kind of uh, let go a little bit, to let go of your control. Um, I think what it's kind of trying to say here is. Um, Especially when it comes to relationships, stop trying to control as every aspect or control how things are going to work out. I feel like if this um, partnership is any, um, entering your life, um, don't feel like this is the only answer. This is the only um, person you know that I've will be with or manifested in the sense. Let go of that a little bit. Just enjoy it. You know, have that enthusiasm to kind of just enjoy it, and enjoy the connection, and enjoy life, and not put so much stress. Um, over it. Just have the strength to kind of, um, you know, be good with yourself. Um, the strength to feel like, you know, I'm at a good place, so it doesn't matter kind of where this leads, because I feel like um, sometimes we can get into relationships where we want to control every aspect, control how the person works, or how fast it's going to go, how slow it's going to go, stuff like that. Gotta let go a little bit, and like when that kind of let go happens, you'll kind of get, things will kind of start moving faster for you. Um, I think that's just kind of contractive and like uh, attractive energy in a way when you kind of just let go of that and you kind of become a little bit more free spirited there I think things kind of come in fast and more people kind of come towards you and more opportunities kind of move fast in your direction you might also feel like this connection will move a little bit faster um, and that might be a little bit scary for you but I again just have fun with it because I feel like this little, uh, whatever is kind of the moving fast energy here, it feels like you're kind of anxious about it. Maybe anxious how fast it's moving or how fast it kind of comes in. It's kind of going to startle you and scare you. Because again, maybe you were in a spot where you were feeling that you were like good. You were like making a solid foundation for yourself. And then this kind of um, energy relationship kind of comes in and it's like, ah, it kind of stresses you out. You kind of get anxiety over it because it's moving so fast. Um, again, just feel it out, let go a little bit, enjoy the kind of flow of the relationship. So, you know, don't, don't get so, um, you know, you don't need to kind of control everything, Aries. Right? It's, it's, it's interesting. There's some energy here that we've been working hard on our toxicity, um, which is good. Um, working hard to, um, I feel like with this devil energy is like working hard on ourselves and the um, things that make us toxic. And um, the things that make us, um, you know, maybe do kind of the, some of this devil energy stuff, this, this darker side of ourselves. I feel like we've kind of been working on that side of ourselves, working on the stuff that kind of makes us feel undeserving, makes us um, do toxic things. Um, I don't want, it, it almost feels like in a sense of, um, I don't know, I guess feeling that it feels like you're scared that, you're scared that you almost have not done enough work yet, that you feel anxious because it's moving fast, that you'll just kind of go back to maybe a way that you were in the past, or this energy of... You're like, oh no, I'm going, you're not seeing yourself as a changed person, even though you have been kind of doing the work here on yourself, that you have been growing. 
Um, and I think that's what's so fearful about this is, is you kind of just being like, mm, I was at a good place and I was like, now this is kind of putting myself back into the, the fire again, putting myself back into the ring, you know? And it's this energy, just having the strength to um, be good with ourselves for making a choice and letting go and just letting it kind of run free, this kind of relationship and don't stress so much of, you know, is something going to go wrong? Is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? Because I feel like there's that is that toxic like past energy. But even if you've been working on it, as it says that you have been working on it, then you're healing, right? This is Knight of Pentacles reverse that just came out. For some of you this week, you might be getting a um, new job as well, or a job that uh, offer that you were hoping for did not come in the way you wanted it to. Um, and you kind of have to go back to the drawing board here. Um, so maybe that's kind of what you're focused on so much on your financial, but you realize something new, something new didn't really come in. This offer, this financial offer, it really didn't come in for you or someone didn't come through with this financial offer. So you have to kind of start again or go somewhere else um, for it. Maybe some of you again are searching for a new job um, or you were hoping for a promotion in a way and it went to someone else. Don't get too discouraged um, by that. Um, I know it just feels like that might just be something that comes up in Aries for you. Anything else for Aries this week? If you're not feeling happy right now, don't stress. Happiness is on the way for you. We just kind of got to do some things first here because you've got the sun card reversed, which is kind of like a bit of delayed happiness um, here. So don't stress out if you're not feeling entirely happy right now. I think there's so much pressure for everyone to be like, you know, got to be so happy. And especially if we are entering a new relationship or we are, you know, maybe looking for something, some a new career thing or a new career path here. But I feel like a lot of that new stuff um, brings up a lot of fear and brings a lot of things again, like the moon card here, delusions, fears that kind of bubble to at the surface for us. Um, and so it sometimes can make those like really happy, shining moments feel not so much because we're kind of having everything bubble up to the surface there. Uh, but I think you got this Aries, like, uh, just know that your manifestations, you're kind of in this energy with the magicians, your manifestations are coming to life, so don't stress too much about that for Aries. For Aries. So your star seed, I remember, is the first card. Soul plan, the fated life, the destiny life. There's a moment before you were born where you chose the conditions of your life that you're living out right now, when you plotted out these exact moments along your timeline of life. We live in a world of free will, and therefore these moments can become our destiny only through saying yes. The favorite life is the one that we're born into. The destiny life is the one our soul chooses. And it takes courage and faith if you pull this card because you are likely now to face with a choice to follow the destiny life or the fated life. To trust the path your soul is calling you towards and to remember that this moment was prearranged on your life's timeline. You may find yourself at a crossroads or at a moment where you're being called to make a decision. To keep to, uh, walking perfectly laid out path before you choose or choose the one less traveled. You may be facing a change of career, new relationship, a difficult decision, or something that requires courage and faith. You're being invited to remember your soul's greater plan to surrender to it. You're confronted with a path that's undefined. It's normal for doubt to rear its head, and that's what we're talking about this whole read, right? This doubt, um, this doubt of choice, this doubt of, um, do I actually deserve this? Is, is this right for me? Am I ready? Every hero in this and his or her journey come eye to eye with doubt. The only way around it is through it. And that's all part of the larger plan, right? It's all part of the larger plan to, to kind of relinquish this doubt and just kind of trust the process and feel with the page of wands, that kind of enthusiasm for it, that you are making the right choice because it's um, what your soul wants 
to, to go. And, and before it kind of even makes sense to the, you there, I want you to trust your gut. Um, trust your gut feeling what feels right for you. All right. You got strategy reversed, which is interesting. When the strategy is reversed, it indicates a stall in the process due to lack of planning. You may be, have a goal in mind or a specific idea about, uh, or, you may have a goal in mind, but no specific ideas on how to achieve it. Or you may find that your original plans have hit a wall and it's now time to reevaluate things. If this is the case, remember that the path of least resistance may be tempting, but it rarely leads to anywhere new. Don't let the mundane task of life eat up all your time and take, your, off, um, take you off a uh, course. Instead, flounder in the wandering, uh, wandering around in confusion, put some a significant mental effort into starting and renewing a comprehensive plan of attack. This card reverses a warning you to get out of the role of a passive observer and become the author and director of your own destiny. And that's again what we're feeling with this page of wands energy, which I think is super, super important this week. As you know, becoming that, um, coming at the reins of kind of what we want our life to look like and what we're kind of manifesting for ourselves here. And even if it's here, not yet, just knowing that it's kind of coming for us, Aries. All right, Aries, that was your weekly reading. I hope that helped.